All right, welcome back. Today, let's talk about these RTX A4000 GPUs uh, and the A2000s. I mean, I didn't know anything about these cards a few months ago. And now everyone says, get the A2000. It's efficient. Uh, the problem is they're close to 700 bucks. They're out of stock, and it's very hard to get any of these cards. The A4000 is, of course, a lot more money. So I saw this article, Tom's Hardware. Good old Tom's Hardware retailer targets NVIDIA's RTX A4000 GPUs for crypto mining, uh, giving pro GPUs a new du dubious purpose. All right. So let's go down. They're talking about, you know, how the gamers boohoo, boohoo, right? And uh, now professional workstation users will have to fight off cryptocurrency miners for a graphics card. Uh, the NVIDIA RTX A4000 isn't one of the best graphics cards for gaming. Okay. Uh, but it's apparently the hot new crypto mining commodity in Vietnam. So Vietnam has it going on, man. It seems like Vietnam is the crypto mecca of Southeast Asia, maybe. I don't know. Is it because all the stuff is leaving China? China and going to uh, Southeast Asia? I don't know. I have no idea. It's always funny to see these articles come out of these small countries. Oh, my God. Let's see. The retailer has turned hundreds of RTX A4000 graphics cards into custom crypto mining systems that offer hash rates over 500 millihash. Millihash is, I can't even say it. And that ain't nothing to sneeze at. I wish I had me more millihashes like that. Give me some of that millihash, buddy. The RTX A4000 is an entry level professional, professional, ampere graphics card. I don't even know what any of that means based on the GA104 silicon. The GA104 is a popular die that powers the GeForce RTX 3070 Ti, 3070, 3060 Ti, and 3060, and other NVIDIA offerings. We all know those cards well, crypto knots, crypto miners. The RTX A4000 has 6,144 CUDA cores, the same amount as the GeForce 3070 Ti, since it's a professional graphics card. What does he get paid for doing his job? I don't know. What, what do they mean professional graphics card? The RTX A4000 has lower clock speeds, bleeds, speeds, my new word, speeds, and a more modest TDP uh, than the Ampere Power GeForce graphics card. Also important is that it has 16 gigabyters, baby. Gigabyters of GDR6 memory with a 256-bit memory bus. That ain't nothing to sneeze at. The RTX A4000 pumps, pumps out 448 GBPS of memory bandwidth. Yeah, the code's the code. Man, I cannot speak today. The card is powerful, right? But it's expensive. The RTX A4000 uh, performs similarly to a GeForce RTX 3060 Ti from a gaming standpoint. Uh, the mining performance is between 60 to 65 mega hash, putting it in the same category as the 373060 Ti. Is that mining ETH? I'm guessing that's mining ETH. I think when you say the mega hash without specifying which coin or algorithm, by default, it's Ethereum ETH hash. That's my, that's, yeah, that's probably true. All right. Uh, let's see. In addition to availability, pricing is probably a big reason why the Vietnamese retailer chose the RTX A4000 for its crypto miners. The RTX A4000 has a 1000 MSRP. However, the shop boasted about having a stock of 500 units, so likely it received a nice discount for the batch order. Didn't the missing truck that got commandeered or what do you call it, hijacked in out west US of NVIDIA cards, didn't that end up in Vietnam? Um, um, what is going on in Vietnam? It seems to be the graphics card laundering place of the world. Yeah, I bet he just got a 500 units, wink, wink. You know, my God, come on. Uh, let's see, graphics card supply has improved to a point where we saw a 9% price drop in the first half of March and a 12.5% month over month. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, the European market has experienced a 25% decrease in graphics card pricing. We still have a long way to go before we see graphics cards at MSRP again. Really? I don't think so. I think probably in a month. You know what I mean? I think MSRP will become the new scalping prices. Right now, I think we're 200 bucks above MSRP. Dropped dropped quite a bit, guys. I'm just I'm not buying any cards. I'm holding out. 
I'm going to hold out until I can't hold out any longer, but I'm not buying any cards. I did buy some CPUs. I don't know why, because I got them cheap. I got them on eBay. I, I, bid out, I bid out other people, and I got a fair price. All right, but yeah, GPUs, I'm not buying any now, because I know, I know the price is going to go down. People are going to have weak hands, paper hands, what do you call it, weak soft soy boy hands, and they're going to sell their GPUs because they can't, they can't stand with the big boys, can't stand in the trenches during the droughts of the upcoming uh, POS, Ethereum. Ah, who cares, man? I'm keeping my cards. I'm keeping them because I'll be, you know, you're going to regret it when you get rid of your cards. And then after the uh, POS, whenever the merge happens, you're going to, oh, crap, I should have kept my cards. I'd be making so much money. Wah. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know what I mean. I'm just saying, if you got to sell them, you got to sell them. Why are you mining anyway? I mean, yeah, you want to make money, but I don't know, man. You just don't know the future. It's kind of foolish. It's kind of hard to get these cards, so why would you be dumping them so soon? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, unless you're underwater, unless you need the money, I get it. you got to get break even and pay off the bills. And Well, you should never have gotten into that much debt in the first place. When I bought all my crap, I used all the money I had I earned. It was just money I had, uh, not expendable income. It was just money I did not have to take a loan out on. And I just said, oh, I can afford this. It's an investment. It's a hobby. Let's go forth and have some fun with this, knowing, like I just said, I could dump them if I got sick of it. Or I was, you know, just didn't want to do it anymore. You know, I just said I could sell them and maybe make, you know, some of my money back. Because, you know, if you sell on eBay, those bastards on eBay take 14% of every sale. Uh, yeah, horrible platform. And that's it, man. That is it. A4,000. Again, I try to get these damn cards, and it's hard. It's hard even to get to A2,000. So Lenovo sells them. Let me see if I can find something here. Oh, my gosh. Here is Lenovo. Lenovo. Did I bring it up or not? Hold on. Hold on. Kablamo. Look at that. A2000. Unavailable. 649. Way too expensive for me. I want to be a low 600. You know what I mean? With tax and shipping out the door, I don't want to spend more than 600 bucks. That's just me. But these are supposed to be good. 1660 supers are supposed to be good. Uh, these give you like, what? They say 32 mega hash on ETH. I don't know. You could get two. If you keep waiting, you could get two 1660 Ti, 1660 Supers for the price of one A2000 with almost the same performance uh, uh, portfolio, profile, portfolio, same performance profile. Uh, just from what I've been seeing, that's, you know, I could be wrong, but that's what I'm seeing. Like 70 watts getting 32 mega hash mining ETH, uh, and they will, they will be able to use, be used on other uh, coins after the ETH merge if and when that does happen who knows who knows who knows i have no idea all you know is what's happening today your systems are running your gpus are mining your cpus are mining your your uh, stacking coins and you're making money that's what you know right now you don't mess it up you keep going you don't break what's broken so that's my attitude uh but having said that i have switched half my rigs from ethermine over to easel and uh it has a 0% fee, and I can mine Ethereum, or I can mine Ethereum and get Ethereum and Zill, which is, I can't even say it right, Zilliqa. I can get paid on that. So I've been running for a few hours right now, and that hash rate is way high. There's no way I'm at that. That's crazy. Uh, I'm probably more about 600 right now. Yeah, that's a really high reporting hash rate current. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm trying out this mining pool because Ethermine does pay a uh, charge of 1%. And uh, yeah, I just thought I'd give this guy a shot and see how it goes. However, I moved, oh God, what was it? Some cards over and they, I was getting the, uh, couldn't have enough memory or memory issues running in this pool. I didn't spend enough time trying to figure it. I kept them back on Ethermine, these two guys right here. Um, wow, those are bad. There's my new names. I shortened my names because they're being chopped on easel, easel.me. Uh, and uh, yeah, so now I can actually read my workers right here. I got three workers. That, that one I didn't restart because it already, I changed the name in the bat file, but it already went through its uh, LHR tuning in T-Rex. I love T-Rex miner, my favorite miner. And uh, yeah, so I'm at 579 on that. So it's 7. 212, really? That's amazingly high for some reason. Oh, well, and 181, that's amazingly high. 
Am I getting better performance on this? That's an average though. I don't know. I got to let it run again. It's only been running a few hours, but I want to see what happens with this. And I have the wallet set up to, uh, to handle the, uh, Zill. I'll call it Zill. And, uh, Oh, who's that dude? Red Panda Mining. He mentioned this Zill thing. So I was poking around today. He's using a different mining pool. I saw this mining pool for Ethereum at 0%. I said, I'm going to try it. And that's what I do. I want to try stuff. If it does work, I'll stick with it. And it's like Pulsar Coin for seed money. I tried it and uh, stuck with it. And I like the, I like the way the staking works in the wallet. Uh, same with Raptorium. Even though these prices are down, I'm not even going by fiat equivalent, you know, base value. Uh, equivalent value to US dollar. I'm just going by getting the coins right now and you could say it's speculation I'm just trying to stack coins and then I'll be happy and then maybe switch my CPU rigs over to Monero Ocean and get some XMR baby because I think privacy is key the government is scared of crypto they want everything to be centralized which defeats the purpose of crypto because you want to decentralize especially what happened in Canada man those guys those Canadians, man, they want to, the government wants to take your money and freeze your accounts, man. That's why you got to get crypto wallets and diversify, decentralize as much as possible. Because if you have any wrong thing, you're done. They're going to take all your funds. No due process. You know? Yep. That's the way it's going. Man, it's just not good. Not good at all. And it's funny. A lot of YouTube crypto guys, miners, are from Canada. I don't get it. I mean, I'd be nervous. I'd be, I'd be looking to move to the U.S., man. Woo. All right. That's just a little side note. All right, so we're doing this. We got that, the A4000, blah, blah, blah. That is all I can think of right now. If you know where to get some A2000s, cheap. But again, I have this thing right here. And I look at this guy. They're never in stock. And I know a lot of people wait a long time. I look on Newegg. I look on some other stuff. You can go Alibaba. I don't like those sites. They kind of scare me. I'd rather get it shipped from within the U.S., uh, preferably. Then I see some guys on YouTube have like 20 of these cards. I'm like, how did you get these cards? It just blows my mind. Are people just getting sweet deals? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah, I can't even find one. I see a guy has like eight of them. Where'd you get these cards? It's crazy out there, man. But maybe now we're in a, coming into the nice uh, awakening, the reckoning. Hey, Nicole wrote me. I wonder if she's hot. Hey, Nicole G. Um, send, me your, send me your bio. Send me your... Oh, whatever. <laughs> anyway, I hate these automated chat, chat things. All right, so that's what's going on. I, I'm, I'm kind of doing Ethereum on a new pool, split my other stuff, kept the ones I had issues with on Ethereum. I'll have time later to go figure out what's going on with the card. These are two laptops, and they're having some memory issues running against that mining pool, so I maybe have a setting wrong or something. Uh, that's all I can think of. I missed the setting. I most likely, yeah, I think I missed the setting on the on the. Uh, batch file command line, the arguments. So I need to go back and double check that. But uh, I'm waiting yet. It's only April, maybe next month. Uh, the GPUs will keep going down and I'm keeping my eyes on uh, two cards, A2000 and uh, what the heck is it? 1660 Ti, 1660 Super, because those little puppies can get you 32 mega hash under 70 watts of power. That's software reported power from the miner. Yeah, so that's that's what I'm thinking. But uh, right now, I did drop almost 1200 bucks on CPU, two new CPU rigs that I got to build out. And uh, those are pretty some, some pretty powerful CPUs, 3900X and 3950 x with memory, power supply, motherboards. Used, I got them used because uh, I found if I get stuff on used Amazon, I'm okay with it because I know I can easily return it. Whereas eBay, you have to fight and say prove that it's not working. And that always makes me nervous buying used on eBay. So that's one good thing about Amazon, which is not many good things, but one good thing about Amazon, they really take returns without any major hassle. Um, yep. All right, that is all I got. Little little rant. Saw the article in the A4000, and I saw it was Vietnam. I say, what is happening in Vietnam? It seems like all the GPUs end up there for some reason, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I just don't know. But anyway. Keep your eyes open. Let me know what's going on. Have you guys used this mining pool? And or are you getting any A2000s, A4000? And how do these people have eight of them in a rig already? That's, I don't get it. Where are you getting these things? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just confused. I, 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 maybe I should ask them. They'll just tell me, oh, I bulk ordered or, or I'm being sponsored. I don't care. Who knows? Yeah. 
All right, guys, that's it. I'm out. Go forward to great things. Keep mining. Just keep mining. If uh, if you have any doubts, just keep the machines going. Try to cut out some fans or uh, turn off some lights. Conserve power whenever you can. If your stuff's running in your server room or your tents or whatever that you don't need to be running, just turn it off. Uh, I had some extra fans and even CPU fans running. I mean, um, um, case fans running. And I just turned them off because it really wasn't adding anything inside of a grow tent. They were just on because I never unplugged them. So they had lights on them, LEDs. I, oh, that's cute. I unplugged three of them, done, boom. You know, it's not much power, but it's something. And when I don't use my monitors, they shut off. Yeah, little things add up, especially if you're paying 13 cents a kilowatt hour. Every little thing adds up. And uh, yeah, walk around your house. Are you wasting any electricity passively with chargers, TVs you have? in sleep mode but are still drawing power stuff like that just go and plug it all of it adds up man unplug two tvs and a couple chargers boom that may make a big difference all right guys go for two great things i'm out bye take care ah uh, that is it i gotta go find my dog now rocco all right i gotta go find him